Welcome to the Yoga for Empaths podcast. My name is Tara Kaur and we're going to be diving into many different topics related to holistic health, the yoga lifestyle, energy healing, and so much more. So I invite you to bring your favorite cup of herbal tea, your journal, and create some space to relax. Let's begin. Welcome beautiful souls to another episode and this is going to be a different episode, a special episode because I'm really excited to be talking about um, what's going on at the moment and how to tune into it and this is going to be a part one. Part one being the energy of spring equinox and spring in general, the season. And then I'm going to do a part two which is going to talk about autumn and that's going to come later on in a future episode. And these are special times. These are very special times during the year where we can tune in and we can actually feel some of those changes. Spring and autumn are the two transitional times of the year where we start to see a lot of movement, not just within ourselves and the feelings and the energy that we have and the energy changes that we feel, um, but also externally, we start to see these results externally. So it's one of my favorite topics to discuss. And I invite you to um, bring your journal as usual, because uh, I'm going to be asking a lot of reflection questions. I'm going to be giving a lot of tips on how to tune into spring. And then we will end with a meditation uh, to tune in to some of this energy and to bring all of the things we talk about in into the meditation. So let's begin by talking about what or why this is such an important time of the year, especially as we're talking about spring equinox. Well, for starters, spring equinox is actually the astrological new year. So this is, in astrology terms, the new year, the start of the next 12 months ahead. So it is a special time because it sets the energy tone of the next 12 months. And uh, if we look at astrology even more deeply, whatever happens with the astrology chart of the spring equinox is an indicator of some of the things that might come up in the next 12 months. Uh, a very classic example that I'm going to use is the energy of spring equinox in 2020. And if we look back to the chart, it makes sense now at the time maybe when we were reading it we didn't fully understand what the energy was going to be about but um, now that I'm making this episode in 2021 we can definitely see why the energy was the way it was on that spring equinox it was full of restrictions it was full of um, structural changes very Capricornian and en energy the energy of Capricorn which is a lot to do with governments and structures in society, but also in our own personal structures. So our daily habits, our daily life, the structures we have in place um, that we live by day to day. And if you remember now from 2020, and as I'm making this in 2021, um, a lot of things did change. There was a lot of different sparks of energy that um, marked the beginning of a lot of different changes that we're going to be experiencing in the next couple of years. So if you're interested, um, I would definitely invite you to look at the astrology chart of spring equinox this year, if you're tuning in, and see what comes up. Um, it is a whole new language in itself. So if you have someone to explain uh, a little bit about the chart, go ahead and, and ask them the questions because it looks quite intimidating if you're completely new to astrology. But there are plenty of videos on YouTube that do go into this. So I definitely recommend doing a search um, for the spring equinox um, that you're listening in and tuning into. And there will be someone, definitely many astrologers, um, exploring and explaining some of the energies that are to come. On a personal level, if you are someone who understands astrology or have some um, 
a grip of understanding of the different houses and the different signs. You can also look at your own natal chart and the transits that are happening because on a personal level, that will tell you the next 12 months on a personal level what you will go through. Just like on your birthday, every year when we have our birthday, our solar return, we can look at our chart and we can have an indication of the next 12 months. So it's very similar. So these are very exciting times. And I want to dive in deeper into how we can tune into this and specifically um, talking about nature and the chakra system. So let's go back to basics. Let's think about what spring equinox means to us. And of course, this depends on where you are in the world. I know some of you who are tuning in um, at the beginning of spring equinox, it might still be snowing where you are. Or if you're in the southern half, maybe it's not actually spring equinox in March. It might be autumn equinox. So it really depends on where you are. But when I say spring equinox in March of any given year, what comes up for you? Just take a moment to close your eyes and maybe think about what comes up for you on a personal level or what you start to observe around you. And feel free to write this down in your journal or just take a mental note. Um, because we'll come back to this reflection in a second. But really the energy of spring in general, d despite of where you are in the world, is a very awakening energy. It's an awakening energy that takes us from our lower chakras to our upper chakras. So when we talk about moving from the autumn and winter, which is the lower chakras, we can feel that surge of energy going to our upper chakras when we talk about spring and summer. And this has a big impact on different people. I know some people love this surge of energy. A lot of people feel more uplifted with this energy. If you're an empath and highly sensitive soul, maybe this is your natural home. Because a lot of empaths and highly sensitive people, we tend to be more in our upper chakras anyway. So this could be f a feeling of coming home in some way or another, or maybe on a personal level, your mood will start to shift, you'll start to feel more active, or maybe you'll start observing around you and start seeing how spring has an effect around us. And in nature, we definitely can see how spring has this effect. If you think about um, a very beautiful um, natural scene, scenery, whether it's a park or whether it's a field nearby in your local area. Think about what comes up during spring and summer and how your environment, your immediate environment, your local environment changes. Most of the time, and of course I'm going very general again, we can start to see how nature changes its colors. So it goes from the colors of maybe deep reds, deep oranges, deep greens, all indications of the lower chakras in autumn and winter. And it starts becoming much more vibrant. The colors start to become much more brighter and reflect the colors of our upper chakras. And also the things that were underground, you know, all the things that were, were hibernating or hidden. This is the time of autumn and winter, going deep underground um, where the leaves have started shedding during autumn and winter and you're, s and you're starting to see all of this life coming up again. So this is where we can s actually see how the energy shifting from the lower to the upper, from the hidden to the seen. Remember, when we talk about autumn and winter, we're also talking about the moon months. Spring and summer is the sun months. So the moon months is the feminine energy. It's the more external energy. It's a part of ourselves that um, through nature you can see there's a lot more darkness. So it's calling us to go within, into our inner darkness. Our lower chakras is more about the emotional self. Our lower chakras is more about going into um, the root chakra and finding grounding within ourselves. So all of this has been going on during autumn and winter. It's going with the, the inner feminine, the lunar energy, connecting to the internal. And now that we're going into spring and summer, the solar months, 
the opposite happens. We're starting to wake up to the masculine energy. The masculine energy is one where the energy is channeled outwards instead of internally. It's more external. So we're bringing that energy from within and we're channeling it outwards. So it is a very powerful way of tuning in to how we can also work with our own projects or the things that we work with in our own lives. You know, how can we use this energy to make the most of it? So I invite you now to start thinking about what came up for you in the last autumn and winter months, in the moon months. What internal processes came up for you? And I know as I'm making this in 2021, we've had a very, very internal um, <laughs> autumn and winter has been very intense. It's been super intense. Um, if you're listening to this in the future, maybe the energy has shifted in some way, but it still will have the energy of being internal. So for you, what came up for you in autumn and winter that might have affected your emotions, that might have affected some belief system or the way you feel about things in your life? Maybe you started working on projects behind the scenes, so something hidden that you were working on as we were going through the colder months, as we were going through the dark months of autumn and winter. What were you working on? What projects were you working on? What connections were you making within yourself and other people? It's a much more, um, I would say, a much more intimate energy because it's more closer and personal to ourselves. So take a moment to write this down again or take a mental note and see what came up for you. And I invite you to go through this reflection in much more detail because all those things that you've been working on during this, the, the, the lunar months of autumn and winter, the shift can now happen where you channel that energy outwards. So whatever you're working on in terms of your projects, your emotions, your internal changes, you can now find an outlet in the world around you to put that energy into. So for example, this is a very random example that's come up in my head. Let's say in autumn and winter, you started having new thoughts and new ideas about um, some career change. Um, as I said, it's a very random example, but it's a very real example. Sometimes in autumn and winter, when we have more time indoors, when we have more time to be internal, um, we can start thinking about what changes we want to make. So maybe it was career change and you had those seeds planted in your mind and that inspiration planted in your soul about some of the ideas, just the ideas, the internal thoughts um, about what career change or what direction you want to go in. Well, now that it's spring and summer, those seeds can now start to blossom. So you, maybe it's an invitation now to start looking at ways that you can bring that into the real world around you through your actions. Remember, masculine energy, solar energy is very action-based. So what actions can now be put forward so that you can bring that outwards? If it was uh, something in terms of your career change, as the example I was giving, maybe now's the time to send off some CVs, for example, or um, start to create a website if it's your own business that you want to do, or um, gain some new connections with uh, people around you. So it's really just about get getting out there, getting out of our comfort zone, doing things that are more external, that has a direct connection with all the internal things we were working on. So it's this beautiful shift, and I really love how this is um, almost a dance, you know, if we're going through the seasons, it's almost like we're going through a dance of connecting each season and how we can tune in to the way we work with the things in our life. So as a reflection, I'd like to ask you, what actions can you take? What actions can you take to move things forward? So whatever it is that you were experiencing in autumn and winter, winter, the lunar months, the internal changes, even the more subtle changes, how can you now put action towards it? How can you now build some foundation in the external world? 
What first small step can you take? Even if it feels scary, even if it feels like it's out of your comfort zone, what small first step can you take? And again, write this down and see what comes up. And this is really a practice. All the reflection questions that I'm asking you today is a practice that I invite you to return back to, to use in your meditations as reflections, um, as part of your journaling. Write these questions down. Maybe over time, especially during spring, as we're still very raw in this energy of spring and activation energy, uh, maybe this the questions and the reflections that come up and the inspirations that come up might evolve in some way. So I invite you to write these questions down and return back to them throughout the spring and see what comes up. So as you can see, there are a lot of different things that we can uh, connect with, a lot of different movements that we can connect with. And I want to start giving you um, some practical tips as well on how we can tune into this energy. Going back to nature, one tip I definitely recommend for both spring and autumn and every season actually, no matter what time of the year you're listening to this, is to eat local foods, seasonal local foods. It's a time to get much more connected to nature. And if you're eating local foods, you're automatically feeding yourself energy through the cycles that are happening around you. So that's one of the easiest ways to tune in to the cycles of nature, especially wherever you are in the world. Eat local foods. Also return back to giving um, to the local people who support these cycles. I think during the pandemic, we've seen how there was um, a, a big shift between global and local. You know, we were jumping between global and local. In the last couple of years, it was more globally cent centered. And during the pandemic, we've seen how there, has, there had to be a lot of different shifts in how local businesses and local things around us became a focus. Maybe you can think back now during the lockdowns and during the pandemic and during the hard times that we've we've all uh, been going through during the different challenges um how were we supported with our local communities our local businesses and this is very important especially when it comes to food resources and we're going to see a lot of this topic coming up in future years a lot to do with the resources that we have locally so i invite you to tap into the local energy and the natural cycles around you through the foods. And as a general rule, if we're moving from uh, the moon months, the internal months, to the solar months, the sun months, we can see that the food tends to be grown more above ground. So autumn, winter is more below ground, our root vegetables, that sort of thing. And then Spring and summer is more upper ground. It's more vibrant colors. So as a general rule, nature already tells us how to work with this energy. Going from the root veg, the root foods, to the more solar foods, the foods that connect more directly to the sunshine. This moves on to the next tip, which is about sunshine. You know, um, generally, again, spring and summer has much more solar energy. So it's an invitation to get your energy source straight from the sun in a healthy way. So g get out there more, be more active, connect more with your body, um, connect more with nature. I, I mean, all year round, I definitely recommend uh, connecting with nature and seeing what comes up. But especially during uh, spring and summer, it's an invitation to go out there. And even if you live in a huge city, and you just have a patch of green uh, park nearby, go out to your local park and start to really connect. Um, it also works with grounding. You know, even though autumn and winter is a very grounding energy, I feel like we can start being more active with the grounding when we work with spring and summer. So getting more active um, now that the weather is a bit warmer generally, you can start taking off your shoes and grounding yourself on the ground below you. 
maybe take yourself into more local areas so being more present in different local areas um, well especially during lockdown it might be difficult to say how this would work but if in the future you're able to move freely um, definitely go to different environments go to different environments see how your energy interacts with the different environments around you this is an energy of play I think spring energy is a is a playful energy so we want to find ways in which we can find play in our daily lives so as I mentioned getting out there into nature uh, looking at local resources local businesses connecting with your own projects um, and also finding ways creative ways in which you can now bring that energy outwards um, through new pro projects through new actions through new connections um, all this new energy but connecting our internal to the external so moving internally outwardly if that makes any sense and as an exercise this is something that I love to recommend with my clients I would say a good exercise now that we're in spring and summer is in your journal to write a list write a list of at least 30 things it doesn't have to be big things but at least 30 things that you can do to nurture yourself to connect with the energy of spring and summer so as I already said going out for a walk um, going out to local businesses uh, meditating using the breath I think breath work is amazing during spring and summer because we can work more with our solar energy while we're on the topic of breathing um, I would highly recommend doing right nostril breathing so just breathing through your right nostril um, blocking off your left nostril and doing really slow breathing through it is one way of connecting with the solar energy and every time you need energy or you feel like uh, you need a pickup in your mood this is fantastic just three minutes right nostril breathing makes a huge difference it really changes uh, on a biological level and also on an energy level how we connect with this solar energy this more active energy um, another thing that I would recommend as part of your practice and you can put it as part of the list of 30 things um, that you can do to connect with this energy is breath of fire so breath of fire is a very powerful um, way of breathing uh, look up on YouTube there are plenty of videos there which will show you exactly how to do it and again just three minutes in the morning of breath of fire can really um, activate your energy it can really bring in that solar fire that we need you know when we talk about the Sun we talk about that solar energy so bringing in different ways in which we connect with the fire with the air and the fire these are the masculine elements so now that that's being said we can um, jump into a meditation if you want you can use this space right now just to write some notes of what came up for you as we were discussing all of these different topics together and we will start the meditation together to bring all of this energy and invite some of that spring energy into our lives. Let's come into a seated position on the floor. So you can be on a cushion, you can be on your yoga mat, uh, you can be supported by any tools that you need like cushions or you can rest your back on a wall if you need to and you can have your legs cross-legged or straight ahead s extended forward whatever feels comfortable for you but the main important thing is that you're seated on the floor and that you have your back straight so your spine is straight and I invite you to close your eyes take a moment just to center yourself into your body into the position that you're in and get comfortable and as you're doing this allow yourself to focus on your spine making sure that it's straight from the base of your spine all the way up 
tuck your chin in gently so that you have a nice straight spine from the bottom going all the way up almost as if you're being pulled up by a string above you so aligning all the chakras for this meditation And as you're getting comfortable and closing your eyes, take a moment to just ask yourself how you're feeling right now. What emotions are coming up for you right now as we're going through these transitional seasons? And if you are feeling anything that is challenging or triggering Feel it in your body. Where are you feeling it in your body? Take a moment to connect with that part of your body. Acknowledge the areas that feel heavy. And acknowledge any parts of your body that are feeling stress or tension. And now connect with your breath and imagine that you're breathing in to these spaces that are feeling stressed or tense or challenged in any way. And every time you're inhaling, you're connecting to that part of your body, to that emotion. And every time you're exhaling, you're releasing. So inhaling, connecting exhaling and releasing and slowly start to deepen your breath going with your own pace your own natural flow inhaling deeply to connect exhaling deeply to release Slowly deepening your breath, so every time you're inhaling, you're feeling your belly expanding outwards. Every time you're exhaling, you're feeling your belly contracting inwards. So working with the natural rhythm of your breath, engaging your belly, allowing any parts of yourself that are feeling tense and stressed to be released. Give it full permission to be open and give yourself full permission to be open, to receive and to just acknowledge anything that comes up within, any emotions, any thoughts, allow them to surface. Take a few more moments of deep breathing and we will start to move in to a visualization connecting to the energy of spring and our chakras. So continue connecting to your breath and as you're doing this in your mind's eye, I want you to visualize a natural space around you. So you can be in a park, you can be in a field, you can be in a forest, wherever it is that you feel drawn towards when it comes to nature. Take a moment to visualize that you're sitting right there during the autumn and winter of this environment. And in your mind's eye, start to really paint the picture. What kind of trees or what kind of plants are around you? Remember, it's autumn and winter. So what would it look like? How would it feel like if you were sitting right there? In your mind's eye, just gaze around this environment See what moods and what emotions are coming up for you. What does autumn and winter feel like to you when you're connecting to this natural environment? And 
keep breathing deeply, inhaling and connecting, exhaling and releasing. As you're looking around into this beautiful space of nature around you, take a moment to also acknowledge which colors are coming up. Can you see any colors in your environment, through the plants, through the trees, through the flowers, anything that's around you? What colors are showing up for you? And remember, this is autumn and winter, so wherever you are, connect with the energy of autumn and winter and the colors that nature is showing you. Slowly, slowly take a mental note of all these colors. And also take a mental note if anything stands out for you. Maybe you're visualizing something that feels very strong or keeps coming up. Take a mental note of that because all these different colors and symbols have a meaning behind it. Keep connecting to your breath and as you're inhaling I also want you to feel the temperature of the air around you. If you're in this natural environment in autumn and winter, how does the air feel when you're inhaling? Does it feel cold? Does it feel warm? Does it feel humid? Does it feel dry? Visualize yourself breathing in the life force energy through your breath, through the natural spaces that you're creating around you, and through the season of autumn and winter. See what comes up within. And when you're ready, I also invite you to take the palms of your hands and place them directly on the ground in front of you. So wherever you're seated in your meditation, bring your palms to the ground. Feel every part of your palms and your hands touching the ground. And imagine that you're touching the ground of the nature place that you're visualizing. You're feeling the earth of nature. You're connecting to the internal energy that's below the earth. Take a moment to visualize how it would feel to touch this earth. Wherever you are in your visualization, how would it feel to touch this earth? Would it feel dry? Would it feel moist? Would it feel cold? What would the earth feel like if you were touching it right now? during autumn and winter in this beautiful space that you've created in nature. And keep breathing deeply and exhaling, connecting to that life force energy of nature. The sensations that are coming up for you And as you're doing this, you're slowly starting to become aware of not just the palms of your hand touching the ground, but also the surface underneath where you're seated. So the base of your spine touching the ground, how is it feeling? How are you feeling and supported within your body and the gravity connecting you to the ground? And I invite you to completely surrender to gravity as you're in this position of being seated and connecting to the earth through your palms, through your lower body. 
we're going to slowly start shifting this energy upwards from your palms and your lower body connecting to the ground and also to the nature environment around you and I want you to slowly start to visualize that the space that you're in this beautiful place in nature is starting to switch into spring so it's the early days of spring and we're starting to see new signs of spring coming in in your mind's eye see the different changes in nature again through the trees through the plants through the ground and the grass wherever you are how is it being activated? What colors are coming up? What symbols are coming up? And what emotions are coming up for you? How are you feeling with this transitional change? Slowly build the picture around you as spring starts to unfold. Keep breathing deeply and exhaling and you can now release the palms from the ground and take the palms and place it on your heart space so bring all that energy from the ground and the earth into your heart you can do it with one palm if you want you can do it with both palms so place it around your heart space so the palms are feeling your own heartbeat and continue feeling that energy of spring in your visualization. Again, connecting with the colors, connecting with the changes, whether it's the temperature, whether it's the sunlight, connecting with the colors, connecting with your own emotions and your own heart. When you're ready, bring your focus to the base of your spine and the parts of your body that's touch touching the ground below you. And I want you to imagine all that energy from the earth, from the autumn and winter that you were visualizing, is starting to build up at the base of your spine. So bringing that energy from nature, from your visualization, Visualize all the colors that came up for you during autumn and winter. Bring that energy into the base of your spine. And start to feel that energy slowly going upwards. Up your spine to your lower belly. Going further upwards to your solar plexus. Up into your heart space. Feel that momentum and that flow building as it's going up towards your throat, up towards your third eye, the point between your eyebrows, and shifting up into the top of your head and going upwards and beyond. So you're feeling this flow of energy directly from the ground underneath you, going all the way up your spine to the top of your head and outwards. Take a moment to see how you're feeling or if there's any shifts of energy that came up for you as you're connecting to this beautiful force from the earth upwards. And keep connecting to that visualization of yourself being in that beautiful natural space, feeling that flow from the earth going upwards connecting deeper into your heartbeat under your palms and also connecting to your breath take a few moments just to be here
with every breath that you're taking, you're feeling lighter, you're feeling more release. With that flow of energy from the ground, going through your spine from the bottom all the way to the top, you're shifting your energy from the lower to the upper. And as you're focusing on that flow of energy from your lower to your upper spine and upwards, take a moment to think of anything that you were working on or connecting with in autumn and winter and feel that energy rising with the flow. So whatever shifts, whatever emotions you were feeling throughout the moon months, Feel that energy starting to lift upwards in your own energy system, from the base of your spine upwards into the top of your head and beyond. Stay here for as long as you like, just observing how you're feeling, how you're changing. When you're ready, I'd like you to reflect on one last question, which is, right now in my life, as I'm embracing spring, what is an action that I can do to move myself forward in my journey? So what is one small action, one simple action that I can do to move myself forward in my own journey? Take a moment to see what comes up. Stay here for as long as you need to. And if you're ready to end the meditation, take a moment to focus back into that beautiful natural space that you're creating or you've created through this visualization meditation. And feel all that energy returning into your heart space. And gently open your eyes. Return yourself through your physical self into your actual environment around you. So looking around at the room or the space that you're in. Bringing yourself back into the space. And when you're ready, feel free to write down anything that came up for you, any colors that came up for you, any symbols or images that came up, any inspiration that came up for you. And also write down what nature space you chose because it's very interesting. Sometimes we change the places that we want to put ourselves into through meditation. So write down a little bit about the space that you chose or came up for you when you were working with nature and also the different changes. And of course, write down any shifts that happened when you felt that flow of energy from your lower to your upper chakras. And of course, this is also a practice that you can do anytime, anytime uh, during this spring and summer. And uh, sometimes this practice evolves, sometimes we start seeing things differently. It's all a process, it's all a, uh, an opportunity to dive in much more deeper through the seasons. So I want to say a huge thank you for tuning in to this special episode. And I also want to say welcome to a lot of the, the new listeners. I'm getting a lot of feedback from, from people, which is amazing, because we're still very early in this podcast. Um, so it's amazing to hear from you. And if you do want to reach out with feedback or maybe suggestions for future episodes, feel free to do so. The email is yogaforempaths at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, you can connect with me there. So thanks so much for taking the time to connect with me today. And I will be back soon with another episode. Take care of yourselves. Happy spring. Satnam.